He does, Laurel, and he has a $500,000 bail. He appeared in this court virtually this afternoon. He faces sex abuse and kidnapping charges, to name a few. He also faces charges in Canada. Police say that he lured the girl from Canada to here in Oregon. Here in the Clackamas County Courthouse, Noah Madrano faces a judge for the first time virtually. He's accused of luring a 13-year-old girl from Edmonton, Alberta, where she's from, and he faces rape, kidnapping, and sexual abuse charges. Authorities say the 13-year-old girl went missing more than 10 days ago and was located on Saturday in Oregon City. Police say they arrested Madrano after a request from the FBI. The investigation involved law enforcement agencies out of Canada and the United States. Nicole Lampa is a CTV reporter out of Edmonton covering the story. So this girl, she uh, went missing on June 24th. She was actually reported missing um, after she had went to school on a school bus to her junior high school, but she did not attend class. Lampa says flyers went up in Edmonton around the area the girl went to school. Hundreds of people canvassed neighborhoods, and there was a lot of community effort that went into finding the girl. Edmonton police say Madrano met the girl on social media. Uh, Edmonton police did say that they believe Madrano Madrano made his way here to Edmonton and a few days after uh, the young girl went missing, he was then seen, they believe, in Minute Mission British Columbia for a few days and then a few days after that, that's when the FBI, Oregon City Police and I believe Edmonton Police tracked the both of them in to Oregon City. The teen has been taken to a local hospital and authorities are making arrangements to get her back to her family. Global News reported the family posted on social media they're on their way to the Portland area to pick the teenager up. In a phone interview with Global News, the father of the victim had this to say. She's 13, but you know, it's, I guess as a parent, you always see the baby and your child and um, you know, she's really needs her family right now. The manager of Portland-based station KBOO said there was a man by the name of Noah Madrano that volunteered at the station. Volunteers usually produce their own shows, and Madrano was let go after a segment aired with sexually explicit content. KBOO declined to do an interview. In a statement, the Madrano family said no words of theirs will ease the trauma that the young victim and her family have endured. They do love Noah unconditionally, but they do not condone, excuse, or minimize these acts. Laurel, David.